when we talk about the continuous motion rule, we constantly are hearing people talk about, uh, you know, on the floor. And on the floor is a term that never has meant anything, no more than in the air is giving information that's valuable. This play here, the guy is driving toward the basket, the Michigan player. This is Michigan and Loyola. And you tell me if he's fouled in the act of shooting. The the right there. Yeah, they reached in there after he'd given up the dribble, and, and they don't give him his two free throws. The the reach reach. In right there. Yeah. Brooks should be shooting too. So I, you know, rarely do I agree with the announcers, but <laughs> this time I certainly do because when a player is driving toward the basket and gives up the dribble, ends the dribble, you can see here he's dribbling and he ends the dribble. We'll give him the benefit and say he ends it with the right foot on the floor. So since he's driven, uh, ended the dribble, He's going toward the basket, going toward the basket. He's fouled in the act of shooting. Now, if he were to travel first uh, then and then score the goal, he would not get credit for the goal, but he would still get two free throws. I don't mean travel first. I mean travel after the foul. So that is clearly a foul where he should be shooting two free throws. Brooks and Wagner, what he wanted to do. Just reach it right there. Yeah. Brooks should be shooting too. Looked like he